Hey, concert band percussionists. Welcome to your very first online percussion lesson. I'm Mr. Pickett, and I want to welcome you again to the Warren Wildcat Band and your very first ever video lesson here. Uh, we're going to go into Essential Elements, book two, page two. I believe in your book there'll be a page 2A and a 2B, okay? And we'll cover one page a week, at least that'll be the goal. Now what I need you percussionists to do is to make sure you have a practice pad. You don't need to do this on a full-blown snare drum, okay? You can just take a practice pad, put it on your bed or put it on a table, and make sure you have your drumsticks, okay? And make sure you have book two. Now. In a few minutes, we're going to go through each of the five exercises on book two. They are generally pretty easy. Book two gets off to an easy start, and I think you'll, uh, you'll, you guys will be okay. Uh, along the way, we're gonna teach rudiments like open rolls, closed rolls, and flam taps, paradiddles, and flam accents, but that is for down the road. But right now, Open your books to page two, 2A two actually. Have your drumsticks and practice pad ready to go. And we'll begin the lesson in just a few minutes, so stay tuned. Okay, let's begin with number one, technique tracks. Okay, real simple exercise. Now you'll notice it's got uh, two parts. On the top it's the snare drum and on the bottom it's the bass drum. Let's just only deal with the top line with snare drum, okay? Don't mess with the bass part, just the snare, top line. Now, in every case, I will play it twice. The first time you listen and follow along and don't play, just listen. And the second time you can play with me at home. All right, so let's listen. Number one, technique tracks, here we go. One, two, ready and go. One, two, three and four and one. There's a repeat bar at the end of the first line. Uh, don't mess with it. Just in the interest of time, we're just going to play it once. Okay? Here we go. With me. Ready. Follow along. No, no. Play along with me this time. I'll give you four beats. One, two. Ready and go. And one, two. easy open. Okay? Number two, shoe fly. Now, in the very first measure you've got a Z on the stem of the quarter note. You've got two eighth notes and a quarter notes with a Z on it. The Z means to roll uh, in a buzz roll format and uh, we refer to that as a closed roll. Here at the junior high we call it a closed roll. Okay? Then the, each of those rolls I believe ties into a quarter note. Okay, all right, so here we go, ready, follow along with me while I play it, shoe fly number two, one, two, ready and go, and one, and two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, and two, one, and two, one, two, and one, and two, and one, and flat, one, one, and two, one, two, one, and two, Now those flams, uh, I, perhaps you learned that at the elementary level, uh, that's just a quick left-right or right-left in rapid succession, just a Okay, those are flams, okay, just quick right-left or left-right, however you wish to do it. Okay, and again, watch those Z notes, the closed rolls. Here we go, ready with me, play along, Get the practice pads and sticks ready, one, two, Ready and go and one and two one two and one and two and one and two one and two one two and one and two 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 and one and two two one and two one and two and two Okay, that's shoe fly number two. We will take a brief break and adjust the camera for the next exercise, so please, stay tuned. 
Okay, number three, Thailand Lullaby. Now, this exercise looks different. You've got two systems, okay? On each system, you've got a line of snare and bass, and on the second line, you've got a single line with symbol notation, okay? So in each system, uh, don't mess with the second line. Uh, the symbol line, we won't, we won't mess with it, okay? We're not gonna do the symbol parts. So in the lines with the regular notation, just like the previous two, don't mess with the bass, we'll just do the top notes, uh, the um, uh, snare drum part. Now once again, you have usage of the Z notes, which are closed rolls, so finger silently or follow along silently. Here we go, number three, Thailand lullaby. Okay, one, two, listen, and now, one, Okay, well, it might interest you kids to know that I'm a trumpet player by trade. Uh, along the way, I get to be sort of kind of good at the snare, so I can teach it pretty well. Of course, the symphonic kids are much, much, much better than me. You might also have noticed that at the beginning of this exercise, it says snares off. On a practice pad, that doesn't matter, but on a real snare drum, you have to turn off the snare. If you know how to do that, fine. It turns it into a tom-tom. Uh, but if you don't know how to turn off your snare, um, I'll be holding lunchtime office hour meetings where you can just join a Zoom or a Google Meet session and ask a question, Mr. Pickett, how do I turn off my snare? And I'll show you, okay? Here we go, let's play Thailand Lullaby. Ready? One, two, and ready, and go. That's Thailand Lullaby. All right, we'll take a brief break and we will change pages and go to the final two exercises, pages four and five, okay? We'll be right back, stay tuned. Okay, number four, Shepherd's Hay. All right, no rolls in this one, but you've got some flams. Okay, this one is real hard. Again, it's a kind of like a system. Please do not mess with the bottom line. Uh, I believe it says tambourine. Um, yeah, it, at home you don't need to mess with that. Nor the bass drum part, just play the, the top system, top line snare drum part. Now, follow along silently. Here we go. Shepherd say number four. One, two, ready and go. Do, take, do, take, flam, rest. Do, take, do, take, flam, rest. Take the repeat. All right, with me once again, here we go. Ready? Play along with me. Number four, Shepard's Hay. One, two, ready and go. One and two and three. Rest. One and two and three. One and two and three. Four and one and two, three. All right, one last break, and we'll get to the last one, number five, the Crawdad song. Stay tuned. Five, four, three. Okay, last exercise, number five, the Crawdad song. This one is all eights and quarters. Well, actually, the last two notes are flammed, no rolls. Uh, you've got, again, it's arranged in systems. The bottom system, again, is suspended symbol with stick and cowbell. Don't mess with it. Only the top system in each line and just the top part of the snare, don't mess with the bass. So, in following along with me, just careful. 
play each of the four systems, just the top line in each system, and the top notes in each line. Here we go. Follow along. Ready? Number five, the crawdad song. One, two, ready, and go. One. system I think the bottom line is chopped off but again you don't need it here we go one last exercise here it is let's play it together ready one two and ready and go two two take two take two start. Page two is pretty easy. Should not have any trouble with it. Okay? Brief break and we'll be right back with the end of this lesson. All right, we made it through page two. Congratulations. All right, now make sure you practice all that we went over. Make sure we start working on our roll technique. That's one thing where I'm going to really miss you kids not being here. You have to learn uh, two kinds of rolls, open rolls and closed rolls. Uh, open rolls are the double stroke rolls with the uh, exact amount of strokes per roll and the closed rolls are the buzz rolls, okay? Uh, when you see notes in your book that have a Z marked on the stem, those are closed rolls, they're buzz rolls, okay? So you'll have to get used to that, okay? Uh, I may have to really, really watch you carefully as you're learning your roles, uh, if I'm going to try and teach them to you through a computer, but we'll, of course, naturally do the best we can. Now again, at home, you don't need a big old snare drum. If you have one, that's great. Use it if you wish, but all you really need is a practice pad, okay? So page two this week, um, have fun practicing, and uh, in due time, we'll pass out some other music as well, which will be used hopefully for performances if we have them down the road, if it's safe to do so. So, page two this week, have at it, look at the five exercises, work hard, and hopefully this will be the beginning of a very, very nice and happy and fun school year. Till next time, this is Mr. Pickett saying have a great week practicing and take care.